up everyone? All right, well, today's a green day, but I'm a little flustered because I gave back half my profit. I had uh, kind of a, a good start on some meme stocks. We had AMC, nice trades on that. Uh, cost, sympathy momentum. GameStop, I didn't trade it, I left it alone. HYMC, didn't trade it, left that one alone as well. Uh, but got myself up $10,000 at the right, sort of into the open on those two. And then we had a squeeze on ALLG. Traded it yesterday, lost 3,500 on it. Started with small size, ended up making 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, and then added biggest position of the day, just underneath the highs, gave it all back, and finished down $2,000 on that stock. So it went from up 15,000 on the day to up 8,000, and I was left feeling frustrated. Felt like the, the glass was half empty. I had just been at 15 and just gave it back. So a little bit of frustration, a little disappointment. Disappointed that we we're you know, not seeing parabolic momentum. You know, we've had sporadic opportunities. We had LLL, NRSN, um, or just like two weeks ago or in the last week. But, you know, so far this week, we haven't had anything really phenomenal and we didn't have anything really awesome at the end of last week, at least that I traded. So feeling kind of like antsy for the next one, was annoyed on ALLG that even though it went up from 22 all the way to 28, then I somehow managed to lose money on it. That's super frustrating. So that's the way it sometimes goes, but finishing the day in the green, yesterday was red, I was down 6,000, today up 8,000. So when you factor in commissions, I'm flat between the two days more or less. So these two days are a wash. So I'll come back tomorrow. Hopefully we see some better opportunities on the gap scanner. Meme stocks, it seemed like they topped out today and are pulling back. So hopefully tomorrow we have a fresh gapper with some news that can give us some action and hopefully some solid momentum. I'll, I'll take what we can get and I did today, which is why I trade the meme stocks. They're not really my favorite, but I did the best I could on them. And you know, sure enough, those are the two that I'm green on. And the third one was, you know, the one I'm red on. But anyway, so reminder is always that trading is risky and my results are not typical. Most beginner traders lose money. So please take it slow, practice in a simulator before you put real money on the line. And I hope you tune in first thing tomorrow morning for the morning show. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And reminder to register to our newsletter. Traders who register to the newsletter will get a copy emailed to you of my best selling book titled How to Day Trade. And we've got a lot of exciting things going on for the month of April. It's our anniversary month. So make sure you are on the newsletter so you stay uh, informed at everything that's going on and the schedule for the month of April. All right, I hope you enjoy the recap and I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. All right, so I'm gonna do my recap here and I'll tell you that I am frustrated. I'm up 8,700 uh, bucks and I'm the guy who's read on ALLG. The stock went from 20 bucks to $28 and I managed to lose money on that move. I'm down 2,000 bucks on it. A $7,000 swing, because I was up 15,000. And the problem on this one, this is the last trade I took, so it's fresh in my mind. Um, it started to break out here and I added it 2250 and I add it at 23, it squeezes into a halt, I take some off the table. It opens, I add it 24.50, it rips up to 27. I added more, it goes up to 27.50, I take it off the table, I'm up five, six thousand dollars on it, and then I add it right there at 28. It squeezes up to a high of 28.44, I was looking for the break at 28.50, the next halt up, it reversed. I stopped out and lost 5,000 on that trade was up only $66. Then I got back in at uh, 25.50 right here and stopped out a second time as it dropped down here, down 2,000. And I'm frustrated. It's, I'm frustrated both at myself for having profit and giving it back. I'm frustrated that I didn't have a bigger position at the beginning of the move, so I wasn't able to book a bigger profit. I was only up 5,000 and that's a pretty big move. And then I'm frustrated just that we don't have the strength in the market for these to sustain, that they're just reversing so hard. It's frustrating. GameStop, uh, AMC and cost, these were early trades or early stocks we were watching. We had uh, on the meme stocks, continuation on uh, all of them and AMC, I did the best on of, of well, I actually did better on cost, but uh, AMC, I got a nice trade on this at the open over 30 and then through 31 and 32. 
adding around half dollars and whole dollars and we got a move here up to 34 but it retraced the whole move and halted down same as GameStop retrace the whole move and halted down I didn't trade GameStop because the spreads were too big and the price is too high but I traded AMC and I trade cost pre-market I noticed that cost began diverging from AMC my last trade on it was for a break of 1160 as cost or as AMC was squeezing up and when it couldn't do it I thought that's weird because they've been trading sort of in tandem so then I left cost alone and switched to just AMC where I made $3,500. And then we had the trade on ALLG. And now I'm too emotionally activated and frustrated to take more trades without being colored by um, the fact that I gave back half my profit on the day. It was up 15,000 and gave back half the gains. And that's, that's frustrating for anyone. Uh, it feels particularly frustrating today, perhaps because yesterday was a red day and I was down 6,000. So being up 15,000 certainly felt pretty good at that moment I was like all right finally we've got some momentum I've got something I can work with and then you know to have to have all of them reverse AMC GME COS uh, IS uh, what was it IGMS I mean all of these reversed it's frustrating I mean there were there were opportunities long and short but not big because none of them opened up big the biggest was AMC I suppose four points uh, with the most volume ALLG, you know, that was a nice move, dip and rip. And then what happened is big walls of sellers. And the first big wall of sellers um, was at 2450. It was a hidden seller and it was a big wall, 2450. When it broke that level, it ripped right up to 2550. And then there was another one. I don't remember where it was. It might have been, uh, where was it? I, I don't remember, but there were just these big walls of sellers. So profit takers from the last week maybe institutional traders unloading position maybe I don't know but there were big walls of sellers and that slowed down the momentum and then it reversed so you know what today a week from now will be water under the bridge so it's best just to walk away today green I'm um, flat versus basically the last two days down six yesterday up eight today whatever so flat in the last two days so we'll come back tomorrow and hope that we see something better. The problem today is we didn't have anything that was really good on the gap scanner. AMC, costs, GME, meme stocks, HYMC. Just not that into them, but pulled about $10,000 out of them. And, and ALLG, which was continuation, not on the gap scanner, but continuation. You know, I'm just disappointed that we had that big move and I didn't trade it better. So uh, there's always room for improvement and I'll try again tomorrow and maybe, maybe tomorrow we'll have a gapper with news that actually holds up and isn't super choppy. Maybe that's asking too much, I don't know. But whatever, we'll try again tomorrow and it is a green day, which is good. I'm back to flat on the week or slightly green on the week. We've got two days left in the month of March. So, you know, no reason to get super aggressive and try to like on ALLG I mean you know I could just cut my losses I mean I I alternatively could have just kept adding and adding and adding as it pulled back and now be holding like a 25,000 share position that's not the right move so you know I cut the losses I'm just disappointed that uh, I had a nice $15,000 a day uh, but only for a moment and then gave back half so it doesn't matter if you're up 150 and give back half, you're up 1500 to give back half, you're up 150,000 and give back half. Giving back half feels like a lot to give back. It's not fun. And then you're at a point where you're like, well, if I keep trading and I lose more, I'm going to get more and more upset. If I keep trading and make money, all is good. But if I lose more, I'm going to be really, really frustrated. And then that's where you start to spiral. And now all of a sudden you're back to flat. So... Uh, anyway, so, you know, you can, you, you know, you could say, hey, you're up 8,000, you know, quit it. You're, you've had a great day. Comparatively, I was up 15,000 and I'm, I'm up half of that. So the glass is half full or it's half empty. And I'm in a moment right after the loss of feeling more half empty than half full. Uh, and, and that's just some days you come at the market and that's that's where you're at. And the most important thing is to have that awareness if that's where you're feeling, that's where you're at. 
to make the decision to stop trading because if you're coming at it from a more like glass is half empty negative position you're more apt to start making emotionally impulsive decisions and so being able to cut that off at the pass is one of the most important things so this can be a successful day if i stop trading right here if i keep trading and i lose more this would be a disappointing day because my discipline would not be on point you know for whatever you know you for a million reasons you can come in and be more frustrated on one particular day or, or have a shorter fuse on one particular day and for whatever reason i feel that way today and so it's best to be able to be in touch with that and uh sort of not try to not try to force it it just is the case that some days are not the days to try to push it so i'm just going to let it be back to flat this month has been a lot of days small green small red a couple bigger green days today had the potential to be a bigger green day but that's really only if this had halted again going up and then continued but it did not so we're we're in the trenches we're just trying to get through and it's been a choppy market it's been a difficult um couple of weeks but opportunities have been present and so if you've been disciplined enough to capture them and not over trade you've you've probably done well maybe maybe even better than me so that's it for me and you know you know the thing that's also frustrating is i went small on allg to start because i did get burned on it a couple days ago i lost 3500 on it yesterday so I went small on ALG, and then of course today's the day that it squeezes into a haul. And so that kind of got me a little bit frustrated as well, because I wasn't able to size up. And then when we had that hidden seller at 2450, I wanted to see it break, and it did, which is great. But then I, because I added, part of me was like, if this thing doesn't break, you know, I might end up losing a dollar a share on this thing. And isn't that just ridiculous? It starts to open up and then immediately comes back down. So we had a very short little rally this morning and now things have cooled off again real quick. And ALLG, the chart's ruined. You've got a topping tail red candle. It's gonna take a whole lot to overcome that. So the good news uh, for long-term traders is that the S&P 500 is above this 458.12 uh, level. So that's good. We are reclaiming uh, these critical levels we've had a nice rally so hopefully your 401k is up uh, a solid 10 percent in the last month off the lows still down probably a little bit on the year but it's a nice rally back up so there's some icing on the cake all right so you know when it's hot i'm gonna dig deep and trade all day when it's cold i'm not gonna i'm not gonna push it i'm gonna get out of the way and wait for the next Wait for the next train of momentum to leave the station. So maybe you'll have one later today, but um, but I'm not sure. All right, tomorrow's a new day. Back at it tomorrow. And that right there was an entire video with no ads. I don't monetize my YouTube channel with video ads, which means you guys get to enjoy the content. But do me a favor, please hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and let YouTube know that this channel is the channel to watch if you want to learn about day trading.